Let us understand how to use with clause to define a named query. At times we might have to develop a large query in which same complex logic need to be used multiple times. The query can become cumbersome if you just define the same logic multiple times. Also it violates best practices of software engineering. One of the way to mitigate that issue is by providing the name to the logic using with clause. We can only use the names provided to named queries as part of the main query which follows the with clause. In this case, this is the named query. It have a join between orders and order items. It starts from here and ends here. The name for this named query is this one. We will be able to use this named query only in this query as part of this select clause. However, if the query is complex, if there are subqueries, you can use this named query in all the subqueries also. However, you cannot use this name elsewhere. Beyond this query, you will not be able to reuse this name. If you have to reuse, then you have to consider view or the named query. That is the difference between view and named query. You will not be able to use the names of the named query beyond the current query in which it is defined. So let's load the SQL magic and also let's create this database underscore URL environment variable. And now let's run this. It will work without any issues. However, you will not be able to run this query against that name because it is not persisted in the database. One cannot use the named query apart from the query in which it is defined. If we run this, it will just throw error. It says relation order underscore details underscore nq does not exist. A relation is nothing but a table or view when it comes to the Postgres. Now this is a bit more realistic example. In this case, I have a named query for this join. You can see the named query here. I am able to perform all type of operations such as group by, order by, etc. on this named query along with the functions on some of the fields to get the desired results as per our requirements. So here we are trying to use the named query approach to compute daily product revenue. You can run this and it will work without any issues. You can also create a view using the named query. That is what I have specified here. As a note, you can see that in case of frequently used complex and large query, we use named queries while defining the views. We will then use view for reporting purposes. So it is quite common that you see named queries as part of the view definition. If you want to see an example, this is how it will look like. So in this case, I'm saying create or replace view. This is the view name. As part of the view definition, after as, we have the with clause with the name for the query which actually joins orders and order items and as part of the main query we try to get the revenue for each date for each product the view is built to to get the daily product revenue now using this name daily product revenue we should be able to see the results let me run this and then let me run this so in this case i am directly running the query on top of the view using order by date and revenue so that we will get the consistent results if you also run the same query when you follow these topics and you can see the output here for each date and for each product id we got the revenue under the hood the view logic is this one which contain the named query the postgres sql engine will take care of generating the explain plan for this query and get the results in an optimal fashion However, we will understand more details about the explain plan, what are the side effects of using views versus named queries versus direct tables and all those things in performance tuning techniques module. For now, just make sure that you understand the relevance of views and named queries. It is quite common that you have a named query as part of the view definition when you try to develop the logic for a very complex reporting requirement.